Now today for my 31 movies of Halloween, I'm delving deep into the archive here. We're going with a 1941 film, The Wolfman, starring Lon Chaney Jr. and featuring Bela Lugosi, the best Dracula ever. And yes, there are a lot of great actors who portray Dracula, but the Dracula for me is Bela. I will give you the basic plot because I cannot unfortunately show too much of anything universal on a YouTube. They will strike me down with a copyright claim so fast it's not even funny. Why can't I have nice things? But I will tell you the story of the basic plot of The Wolfman. Larry Talbot returns to his ancestral home in Wales to bury his recently deceased brother and to mend ways with his estranged father. Sir John Talbot. Well, Larry just falls in love with a girl named Gwen who runs an antique shop. So he made an excuse to talk to her. He purchases a walking stick, beautifully decorated with a silver wolf's head. Gwen informs him that it represents the werewolf, a man who changes into the wolf, quote unquote, at certain times of the year. And apparently the werewolf always sees a pentagram on the palm of his next victim. Now, Larry just keeps asking Gwen out. She keeps refusing. Now, Gwen just does not want to go on a date with Larry, but they do meet up. Gwen brings her friend, Jenny, to go to have their fortunes told. The fortune teller is played by Bella, and he sees a pentagram when he examines Jenny's palm, and he kind of freaks out a little bit and sends her away. While they're waiting their turns, Larry and Gwen take a walk. Then they hear screams from her friend, Jenny, who right now is being attacked by a wolf. Larry tries to rescue her, does so by using his new walking stick, uh, but he is bitten and this is where the story really begins for Larry. Now I will tell you if you're not a fan of old black and white films I understand. I am hit and miss with old black and white films. The Wolfman for 1941 special effects. These practical effects they are really really good especially for the time but even nowadays it holds up pretty dang well. The story is so great there's great actors. This is back when actors could really act and not just be pretty faces. They had actual talent, in my opinion. And there have been obviously some wolf men, wolf, wolf men, <laughs> uh, some movies about the wolf man. There's, there's been a few, not as much as vampires. You know, vampires kind of took a turn and became sparkly for little girls reading romance books. It's the skin of a killer book. But that's okay to each their own. I'm just saying that there hasn't been too many werewolf movies. This is the epitome of a werewolf movie and it is the best one that I have seen. So the acting, the special effects, uh, all great reasons to watch. Do yourself a favor and watch the old black and white monster films. They are so much fun to watch, plus they are classics. It's one of those things that you just have to watch. There are many films out there that I have not seen that I need to. Maybe I will this <laughs> sometime this month and get a little review out here for you. Lon Chaney Jr. is Lon Chaney's son. Lon Chaney was a great, I would say, character actor because he did his own makeup, prosthetics. He transformed himself into the character he needed to be in that film. The Wolfman is pretty much a staple for Halloween. When the moon is full, they turn to this wolf creature and they just go after people. That's the best way I can explain it in just a few seconds time. Movie recommendation for you to watch. Uh, please check it out. It's so much fun. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye.